pool there to drill. There we go. Rollocks. That's some kind of rest then it's Steve. Sorry? Rollocks. It's a rollock. It's a rowing boat. Oh. It's a rollock. Rollock. <laughs> Off a rowing boat. <laughs> Rusty's experience when it comes to rollocks. I am. <laughs> He's had a few in his hand over the years. Got a bloody push bike at the 70. And the push bike looks like it's tied down. <laughs> <sighs> Little fire extinguisher. Good job, Gun. <laughs> There you go. <gasps> no way. Put my fifth throw in. There you Look go. Look at that. Is that but it is a toy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a very, very old toy, so I can keep that. <laughs> I can't keep real ones. It needs a bit of a clean up. It does need a bit of a clean up. Love it. So, yeah, that is probably what? 50s, 40s, 50s toy off a chalk troll. Nice one, Peaky. There you go. No thanks, no, well, So I'll take you down here guys. This is where I've just pulled that little gun out. That gun, by the way, is actually a starting pistol. It's not a toy. So, uh, there's nothing left of it, so it's okay to keep as a relic. But I pulled out these bits as well. We've got um, scaffold clamp, pieces of bar, pieces of nut, and the usual stuff that you find under bridges like this. Uh, piece of rebar. And my 70's down there, but I'm stuck on a push bike. So I'm going to get that out in a minute with Nigel. And uh, once we've got rid of the push bike, there might be some more underneath. But this is a lovely little bridge and there's lots coming out. So, yeah, thumbs up and uh, fingers crossed. And let's see if we can get some more history out, guys. So me and Nigel are just having a little uh, tickle down the side of that bridge there. And I've just found an old Bowie knife. Uh, it's a bit far gone. Take it back and clean it, but I doubt there's going to be anything left of that. It's proper ancient, but probably 60s ish. So, uh, I like one as well. <laughs> the same one of them. Oh, yeah, you did, yeah. So, no, I just had one as well. Literally 10 foot from me, so that's two. I haven't, though. But Steve hasn't had one yet. <laughs> well, I've just pulled that out. Oh, that was heavy. And it's stuck to some wire as well, so gave it a good yank. But yeah, look at the bikes that go in the canals. Mad. So, so yeah, there's a bike I've just pulled out. And an hammer. There we go. There we go. It's your turn to get your tip out. I got my tip out. So oh, I've got a bullet, bullet tip. tip. Nice old bullet tip there, look. Nice, and whatever that is, if it's just a spring. Some it's a stuff, Roman it? bracelet. It is a Roman. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that rough. The bullet tip. He's got his tip out. He's got a Roman bracelet. Roman <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep this guy just in case. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There we have it. I think that's uh, the first of Peaky Dippers. So we've got a sign. And it's an old cigarette machine sign. Uh, and it says, turn the knob. <laughs> That doesn't mean Glenn. And it doesn't mean me. Sign the top You're well. not going to turn me. <laughs> and there's a two, two pence packet. Oh, that's an old And it's one, definitely isn't it? so cigarettes. I'm going to get a piece of cloth and I'll clean it up. I'll come back to you later when that's cleaned up a bit, guys, and I'll show you a bit more. That's lovely, that is. And we're cooking on gas. There you go. There's a, a top to a gas stove. And we've got 
an old aerial. Look at that. I might keep that for Steve for his phone. Because uh, he's always clearing his cash. Here we go, just had some lovely people stop by and have a chat. So sorry about that. Um Posy Drive. And I pulled out together, believe it or not. Part of a big spade. And part of a little one. <laughs> Found a little old key, look at the little the design on that. I like that. And I'll go in the uh, ultrasonic cleaner. Wow, just wow. It's a lock. Yeah. Whatever that is. Put a lock on the end then. Flat piece. No, don't know. Oh, got a hammer. Another hammer. Straight off the magnet. We got some bars of metal there. Weld him. Got the old square nail. We'll take that out because that's a snag. There is uh, actually fishing wire in that. Couple more old nails. Show you some things off phone. Under the bridge, which is a bit hard to get to, so. Yeah. One of them. What's that called, Glenn? A foil. A foil. It's an yeah. absolute bugger of a foil. <laughs> <laughs> a foil. Couldn't think of the name of it. Foil. Yeah, you can, but you're not going to say it. And look at that for an old key. Look how big that is. That's a lovely key. That's gorgeous. Look at the size of that. Love it. Watched me do the talk the other night, and the daughter's going and said, Can you come and do one for us as well? <laughs> <laughs> do you think you're logging them? Yeah, turn around the way you have it. That's a lovely old key, that. It is. I'm going to clean that up carefully around that window. And the lamppost cover. Thickness of it. But it doesn't look like it's got anything on. I clean the thicker. I'm loving the key. Yeah, that's really old. It's a shame. Yeah, can't see any light on that. Yeah. Look, Glenn, Glenn, any writing on that, is that? That's a plain one. Plain, yeah. modern. Plain, right. And I put this up on the magnet. I love that. Yeah, can we come out? Oh, I love that. And I know Glenn likes his bags. Yeah, on that end. Yeah. And then paint it white. There's a magnetic bag. Something that's cool. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lovely font for me, you know. I don't think there's going to be much in it though, but it's a magnetic font. Oh, you're holding it. No, oh. stop sweating. There's like a little ball in there. I'll put it up there, will you? Definitely magnetic, or in my yeah, way. Yeah, I'll put it up on the back. What is it? It's a pen. Coin? It's got a coin in there. Coin. It's got Three coins in there and pennies. An offering. It's an offering. Yeah, a little offering. An offering to the people. It's a ball. Lots. I don't know, I don't want to. I don't, I don't know. It's a knob. <laughs> it's a nut. It's a knob of something. It's a finger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having to go on Nigel's extreme. I'll have to pull the raw shoe up with you. So that means, does that mean it's looker? Oh, oh, right, so I'm going to get the extreme back in. There's the lucky elf. Give it a rub, give it a rub. <laughs> Wondered when I was going to pull an old one out, guys.
So we've got a shovel. Not in bad condition. There is an allotment there though, so that's where that's come from. We've got a bolt. And we've got a corner bracket. A stall clip that's for holding tarpaulins on the stalls. We've got chaff cans, two pence, and a piece of bike chain. Hello, I'm a knife. I managed to get it back uh, uh, with this. On to the bow plate. To the bow plate. To look. Yay! To look. Ooh! Look at the height of that, Steve. We've got a smoke It's 58, 58. <gasps> Look at the height of that. Bow plaque. I'm a, I'm a boy to try and eat, Oh, come on, I've just eaten. Look at the dice on that. Maria's just had an awesome I don't believe it. 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 I'm doing okay, Carol, thank you. Easily. Easily. Yeah. 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 Hello to Terry Phillips. Hello, Terry. Hello, Terry. Hello, Terry. Hello, Terry. Oh, Just found that, look at that. The old sewing machine. <laughs> there we go, wow. it's a rest for you, mate, so you could prop it on that. <laughs> Just pulled out that, it's a weight, and my life was that a weight. Anchor. Is it an anchor? It's been used as an anchor. Oh, right, okay. There we go. And uh, that pedal. Let's just pull that out. What's that? Pearl necklace? Pearl necklace? We'll be off one. <laughs> just one pearl, no necklace. Just one pearl. Oh. Look that, looks like it's off push bike. And monkey bar. Broken padlock. Chain guard, isn't it? Yeah. Chain guard, that's the word. Ow. Looks like a mooring pin. Maybe. Oh, 
and that fun shape thing. to a road traffic sign and another piece of the sign frame as well and handle or something or sort of decorative handle there huh? oh look how peaky your eyes are they pull the rise right out and find my cap And a nail. Cut white yeah. lock. <laughs> <laughs> I just found a gun. That's off the drill. <laughs> Makita as well. It's Makita. Somebody's uh, been on the rock with that by the looks of it. And we've got a little uh, combination name, Rudolph. Right oh, yes. A combination thing. Oh, my Keita, you will never know <laughs> just how flat your battery goes. <laughs> oh, oh. 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 <laughs> I found the bottom of his drill. <laughs> Proper old square nail. I don't know about Marie either. <laughs> Spiky bit. That looks like a part of another knife. There, look. That could be a bayonet actually. Steve. Steve's burst me bubble, it wasn't a bang, it's them, them ones you get together and you cut stuff with. Ooh. Steve, catch! <laughs> <laughs> I've got a crayfish, wiggly wiggly. Found a flying saucer, UFO. I'll just talk for you, Steve. He's up there, it looks like a little like, fleur de lis thing. Looks like it would have been on a bridge or something, that. Huh? Um, I was magnificent up on the bridge with Nigel, come across another little horseshoe. Can never have enough horseshoes. And got another little knife. I don't think that's going to clean up very well, but we'll have a go. Um, and that is human hair, believe it or not, that's not fishing wire. But yeah, so a uh, little knife there. I'll try and clean it up, but if it doesn't clean up, and then, you know, we'll see. Well, see so the brass there, look. I don't like the look of the air on it. I know. And a horseshoe, so. What a brilliant day we've had. Um, I don't think we're far off finishing now, so we'll have a few more dips, and if there's nothing else, and then uh, I'll see you on the finds, guys. We've got Rusty Nuts over there talking to somebody. We've got Nigel behind you. As you know, Nicola couldn't make it today, she's not on the day. And our two guests didn't turn up. Ooh. Anyway, for the two guests, see you next time we will. So I'll see you on the find guide.
everybody, Peaky Dippers, and uh, welcome to the premiere. I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Really do. Um, so, yeah, we went to a place with lots of history, didn't we, Oh, yeah. It's a new location we found, and it is steeped with history and uh, finds. Um, we have been for the second time, but we haven't got that one out yet. But, pff, my God, wait till next week's as well. I nearly cried. Oh, wait till next week's. We've found our bucket list find. Well, Marie has. So, watch out for that one guys. Um, now, um, this place you've seen on the video obviously, uh, the first thing I believe I pulled out was an old cigarette sign. I haven't got that here to show you, unfortunately, but what I've done will be on Rustorations. Uh, go across to Rustorations, like, subscribe if you can. Uh, go across and you'll see that come on Rustorations um, to get your notification. I've done something with that and I've done something quite special with it for a special person. So, uh, yeah, so that's not here, so I can't show that. But I'll show the rest of the stuff we've got. Little bits of history, some little bits of rubbish, but that's what comes with magnet fishing. So, I'll show you the first thing is Rusty's CB aerial to his phone, so he can clean his cash. <laughs> the big aerial there, I don't know, it's off it. I, I, I dread, it's probably off a car or something, I don't know. But an old aerial. I just bought it back just to show you. It's a flippy flopper, mm -hmm. it is bender. So, so we've got aerial, we've got a weird fishing law. Again, as I keep saying on the videos, guys, I'm keeping these for somebody in a big tub. And we've got another little fishing law, which is actually depicting a crayfish or a, a little shrimp of some kind. Oh, I, don't think think we found that. I don't think we found that at this location. Didn't we? Oh, well, no. I'll show you that anyway. I don't know. I, I don't know. I Sometimes the poles of finds get mixed up. Yeah, we've, I think we found it at that re reservoir. Because mm. I was, I remember that because I was like, yeah. Marie bought this back, I don't know why, it's just a little strap of junk. It's not gold or nothing. <laughs> just stuck to the magnet. But we show everything because we're honest. Yeah, it comes in handy if you want to do any crafty, yeah. crafty stuff. Where did Alan go? Alan! Alan, I keep telling you, you lost your key. Stop throwing them in the canal. Stop throwing them in the canal, in the... With the rivers, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I don't care. Just general. We can't get our bit of spoon. We always get a spoon, a little teaspoon. I don't want to put that by my coffee. Oh look, look whose cup I've got. <laughs> so that's that. And then the day started to get a bit more exciting. Once we found that sign, we found an old drawer handle or off a cupboard, but it's very all night. Oh, yeah. I haven't cleaned it up. It's not worth it. But yeah, it probably is off the drawer, the way that, that the attachments go. Tie her up, yeah. I thought it was a cauldron or something at first, but... Yeah, it could, well, it could be. It could be off a cooking pot or something. Um, then we got to finding a pen knife, which is, as you can see, the river does more damage than the canals. Um, there's nothing left of it, so there's nothing I can do with that. That would just go in the rubbish. Shame, but it's the way it is. It would have been a nice knife as well, that. Sticking with knives, I pulled out um, an old Bowie knife. Again, the river's eaten away at that. Um, that would have been a brass tip. And if you can see the lip here out of the hand guard, that would have been brass. That's brass as well. But the blade's completely had it. So, unfortunately, that's going to be chucked. But... It don't matter what it'll be or be. Um, within one of my first finds, I found um, that. And I thought it was a toy at first, but it's too heavy. And we've actually found out that it was um, a starting pistol. For those people who don't know about guns, a starting pistol basically is a, a blank fire gun that they use uh, just to like start of a race, that kind of thing. So I had a little... Uh, Start a pistol again. There's nothing left of it. It'll just get chopped. It's not worth doing nothing with it. Then we found a bullet tip. Mm. Neat hollow. Perfect. A little bullet tip there. So it'll just go in my little glass cabinet. Nothing wrong with keeping that. That's fine. Um, we found a little key. Baby key. Yeah, cut that for a little key. 
And we found a daddy cake. <laughs> Look at the size of that. Unfortunately, it's been eaten away there, but I'm going to try and repair this with some chemical metal. Rub it down, get it looking nice, and it'll just go in the garden. So that's a nice big cake. Okay. I can imagine some kind of old Georgian manor. Yeah. Or a big, big mansion. Castle. Or a castle. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think they're big for a castle, but either way, it's still a nice big key that. And I know the American subscribers, they love the old keys like this. So they're nice to find. I do enjoy finding the key. Then we've got um, horseshoe. We had lots of horseshoes, didn't we? Oh, next week's video, uh, I think I've probably found the most horseshoes. The, probably in magnifying, to be fair, <laughs> in one day. But yeah, so there's uh, an horseshoe. It's quite a narrow one, that one. And then we've got another horseshoe. As you can see, it's got the lips here that the, the horse's hoof would have sat into. Still got the nails in. Wow. Slightly thicker, obviously, that one. But yeah, horseshoe. They're always nice, horseshoes are, because you can, you can clean them up, paint them up, and make them look nice. The best find I think we had that day, besides the cigarette sign, was this here. I think found good enough in the background. This is a Thames. Um, what it used to happen was basically, guys, is back in the day, obviously 1899, um, I think these ran right the way up to the 40s, 50s, and as far back as the, I think, I believe the early 1800s. Mm -hmm. um, what used to happen was these would be screwed on the side of a boat on the Thames. You can only get these from the Thames, hence Thames. And it basically, it's uh, like a license plate that you've got in your car, but for the boats. And these are very desirable, very collectible. I, think I believe they the, stopped them in the, about the 1950s, apparently. Uh, something think, like that. I but think. the the ones in the 18 marks are worth some money. Um, I've looked on eBay, and some of these are going for sixty pound a piece. Up. So uh, the red ones are very desirable. I've been told. 18.99. 18.99. Yeah. Wow. So that's that. Um, and that's it for the finds for that video, guys. Um, yeah, it was a lovely place. In fact, we went back the next week, which is going to be next week's video. And we're going to back again this week, so we'll be there three times. And I think it's going to be a summer thing for us, that spot. There's some history coming out, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, there is, yeah. Not necessarily that same spot, but there's lots of water around this area. So I think we're going to be there. I think it's going to be until we can say we've done as much as we can of it or we can financially not drive the car there anymore and then we'll be going there I think so yeah because unfortunately this place is like £30 a day for parking so yeah especially when you bring £50 in petrol and then £30 in parking that's an £80 day but that's what we do we treasure hunt we road trip we go everywhere we can uh, just to pull these bits out I enjoy doing it I hope you enjoy doing it guys is there anything else I've got to say, Maria? I've mentioned the uh, cigarette sign. I think that's it. We're on day 65. Yours? Of not smoking. Perfect. Smoking a vape. But yeah, check not out. Smoking. But yeah, check out the next video as well. Oh. Check out the next video. Go across to Nigel Lanford North Ants, guys. He found a brilliant find. I think his video will already be on now by the time this one goes out. Yeah. But this thing. Oh, you wait, guys, anyway. I hope you really enjoy it as much as we did. So please like Sky to Peaky Dippers guys, look after yourselves and boy the Peaky Dippers. I shall see you on the next video.